Hello there, welcome. Um, I'm just on Rush Beach here. I just um, decided to come out and do a gear review of the Hover Air X1. Um, this is the drone I've had for a little while now. Um, so I just want to go through the settings and stuff with you guys uh, to show you what it can do. And I might try a few new things that I haven't used it for yet. So let's get into it, shall we? So here it is, uh, the Hover Air X1, um, as you can see here, has different settings on it. Let me just take my shades off. So you can see here different settings all the way around. We're going to try each of them. And this one, the last one at the end, I believe is manual and I haven't really used that one that much. So um, yeah, so we'll see what that one does as well. Okay, to start with, it's just a matter of opening out the um, the wings and hitting the start button here at the top. So that will turn on. There is a camera here at the front and there is one underneath as well. So yeah, let's get to testing. Let's see what the first setting is. Okay, so once you um, have the app or sorry the X1 unpacked you'll need to download this Hover Air X1 app and once you have the app on your phone you can change the different settings on the drone itself. So I'm gonna turn the drone on so just hold your finger on the power button. You should see a light at the front there's the green light and it will greet you. Current mode Zoom out. Okay, we're going to use the first setting, which is hover. Zoom out. Um, just let me get it. Hover. Okay, and once we have hover mode, uh, we can go onto the app, connect to the drone, and then we'll let it fly. Okay, we're in hover mode, ready to go, so let's see what it does. Hold it out in front of you. Press the power button again. And it'll fly. So it's just hovering in the air. I'm going to see if it follows me. It will. So it'll follow me any direction that I go. That is pretty cool. Okay, come on back. Put your hand out underneath the drone. And it lands in your hand. Okay, let's try the next setting. So the next setting is zoom out. Um, and on the app itself, I have uh, the distance at six meters. So move six meters away. And the altitude will be on the rise. Um, and this video. So let's give it a go. It's going to zoom out for six meters. Now you can't set it for three meters or six. I think you can do nine too. And it is a bit windy, but it's still coming back. So next shoot is our next um, setting is follow. Follow. So we'll put that on the drone. Um, Duration, continue, distance, let's go far. Um, altitude, set, we'll go high. And those are the only settings. Okay, let's see what it does now. Okay, let's see it follow me. Up a bit higher and then just follow me. Make a turn around and it will still follow me. So let's see if it comes back the opposite way. Yeah, it comes back the opposite way too. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, the next setting is Orbit. So let's go into the settings on the app. Go to Orbit. Radius. We'll go 4 meters. Altitude. Uh, we'll rise 1 meter. Um, angle 360, sounds good. Target tracking on. All good. So these are the settings we're going to use. So let's see it in the air. And it's a perfect selfie camera, you know. Flying sel selfie camera. <laughs> It'll go back to the original position. And then come back to me. Okay, so the next setting is bird's eye and I have it, uh, it says rotation speed, no rotation, altitude 7 meters, video segments on, um, and that's really it. Let's see what the bird's eye is like. Off it goes. Seven meters and then it should come back down to the correct position. Next one is manual. Seven meters, bird eye. Oops, nope. Custom, dolly track. Okay, let's see what the dolly track is. I've no idea, never tried this one before. Let's give it a go. There's this dolly track. It's just gonna track me, is it? While I'm in hover mode. And follow. Yeah, so it stays in front of you. That's very good. That's very smart. I like that. Then you wanna stop it, how do you stop? Okay, that was dolly mode and it just follows you from the front basically. Okay, on the app it says manual control. So I'm gonna tap on that. I'm gonna tap use it. And let's see if we can control it manually. Okay, here we are in manual mode and we have two wheels here, uh, backward, forward, right, left, and then up, down, le uh, left and right, is, or left and right, sorry. Um, so let's give it a go. Let's see if we can control it from the app.
touching the up button, nothing seems to be happening. Okay, you just tip the button again. Okay, we'll go up. And it's going up. How about backwards? Yep, that works. Left. Right. It's cool. It's taking a, a recording of me too, I think. Um. We'll go up a bit more, back a bit more. Let's see how far away we can get this. Okay, about 20 meters. Uh, it's still going, so <laughs> let's bring it back. But that is super cool. So you can just use it as a normal drone. And down we come. Can we land it now? Hit the button. Is it gonna land? I might have to put my hand under it. Yeah, knocked over the camera in the process. <laughs> of course. So that's really it guys, the Hover Air X1. It's, um, it's a real piece of kit, it really is. I've been uh, working with it now for about six months and I use it for most videos, if not all. And I find it's, it's just brilliant, you know, it just does everything you want. That's the first time I've tried manual today. Um, so I might try, I might play around with that a little bit more in the future. But um, just one more thing. Um, the, I'm not sure why, but it doesn't hover over water, so if you're using it in manual mode, do not go over water, it'll just land and it, it'll it'll kill the, the drone itself. So do not use it over water, only over land. And obviously when the wind is, um, is strong, don't use it either. It's, uh, it's, it's nice and mild today. I am not sponsored by Hover Air, by the way, just um, in case anyone gets any misconceptions. I just really like it. I like it as a drone um, and finding that new feature today was great. But that's it, the uh, uh, Hover Air X1, they're about 430 euros, they're not cheap, but it's a really, really good buy, and um, I think, yeah, I'm onto a winner with it, it's perfect for what I do anyway. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do, um, drop a comment down as well, and, uh, and hit that like button, and uh, hopefully I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care. Come back home. running free through valleys far as the eye can see and I'll be waiting on you till you're in my arms a place that you can call your from the storm I'll keep you safe and warm We'll hide out here for as long as you want You want Brick by brick we lay The bones to this old place Memories I won't let